everybody. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Victron Connect. Now, I would like to go over some of the challenges that I've had with Victron Connect and some of the great things that I've had with Victron Connect. Now, as you guys begin to do your own solar shed or your own solar projects, and if you choose to use the Victron product, you'll probably run into the same challenges that I've run into. So what I'd like to do is go over what I ultimately decided to do and how that might help you out. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe, click the bell if you want to be notified of other videos like this in the future, and let's get started. So if you're like me, you're going to be using Victron products for your solar system. So as you can see here, I've got my Victron MPPT solar charge controller at 150 slash 35. I also have the BMV 712 smart battery monitor from Victron. And as you come down here and you look at my batteries, I actually have a temperature monitor as well. Now all of these, because they're Victron, they work in conjunction with each other, either via a local network or via Bluetooth. Now, when you do this, there are some things that, that coincide with each other. Now, I have this laptop over here that is running the Victron Connect so that I can see every aspect of those three products that I just showed you. We have the battery monitor, we have the temperature monitor, we have the solar charge controller. Now, <clears throat> all of these things work together um, locally but they also have the VRM portal, which allows you to take this information that you would see coming from these devices and sending it to the internet. And that is where I have found my challenges. Victron Connect is actually only local. Now to send this information, you need to use their online portal called VRM at VictronEnergy.com uh, and you can send this information and monitor it remotely. But that requires some other components that are actually quite expensive. And so I'll put a link in the description below on those products. But what I tried to do at first was to take this Raspberry Pi and put their software on this Raspberry Pi and it will send the data that you see on the Victron Connect app out to the internet. And then you just simply log into the VRM portal and you get to see all of the information such as voltage and current and power, consumed hours and you know the temperature, all of those kinds of things. But that requires some hardware that can be anywhere from $300 to $500. And so after I put their software on the Raspberry Pi, I had that working for about six months. And then all of a sudden it just died. And so before I went out and spent $300, $500 on some other equipment that was gonna allow this information to be sent to the internet by way of my charge controller um, or my battery monitor or my temperature monitor on my batteries there, I wanted to see what I could do for free and get this up to the internet, at least so that I could monitor it no matter where I was in the world. And so that is what we are gonna talk about next. So stay tuned, we're gonna go into that right now. We just left off where I was in the shed and I was showing you the system and we were looking at the Victron Connect on the laptop. What I've done is I have removed myself from the shed because I want to show you how I remotely log into my shed via the internet and I'm able to look at the Victron Connect no matter where I'm at, whether I'm um, out in the woods with my phone or at an office with my laptop, um, I can log in via virtual network computer, VNC. Um, we'll get into that uh, at a different time, but for the sake of this video, I just want to show you guys that I can remotely connect to that computer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually move over here to my computer screen. I've got my laptop right here in front of me and we're gonna look at that and see how it works for me. So here on my screen, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna launch um, VNC Viewer. This is an application called Real VNC. And I'm actually looking at 
the screen of my laptop right there in my solar shed using the Victron Connect application. Now, as I move over to this screen here, um, I can move this information back and forth, and you can see that I have two screens here. One is this screen, and then one is this screen over here. Now, Victron Connect by default does not let you have dual panes, meaning I can't see my charge controller and my battery monitor at the same time. And so what I've had to do is I've actually had to link my old iPhone that I've got on there. So you'll see here on this screen, this is actually the iPhone screen that I'm just viewing on the laptop, right? Plugged directly into the laptop. And then this screen here is the Victron Connect. So at the same time, I'm able to see not only the battery monitor, but I'm able to see the solar charge controller. So at the moment, I'm pulling in 388 watts at nine amps, as I can see over here on this screen. And on this screen, I can see the same, the same information. I see the voltage of the battery. I see the current of the battery and the power that's being consumed and, and how long the time remaining is. So at any point in time, no matter where I'm at, I'm able to see how my shed is doing remotely via VNC. And so this is really, really cool. Uh, and I can also use the same app on my iPhone. It also comes with an Android. Again, just real VNC, just do a Google search for real VNC. And I can log in to this remote laptop that I have in my shed. And again, it's even plugged into the solar system. And so this is completely powered off grid. So for all intents and purposes, this is a completely off-grid solar monitoring system. Now, the cons to this is you need to have a laptop that you're not really using. This is a really old um, MacBook Pro that I've had. It's been in the shelf for two or three years, probably. It's an old iPhone that my kids had. It's got a cracked screen. Um, so I did this very, very inexpensively. Uh, it's much less expensive than going out and buying the Venus um, or the um, or the GX, the Victron um, remote viewing uh, tool that you need to tie into the VRM. And so this is a great option for me and it might be a great option for you. Again, I've tried the, um, the Raspberry Pi, it worked great for a little while and I just wanted to find a way that I could monitor my solar shed remotely without any additional expense because I've already spent the money on the on the system and the charge controller and the solar panels. And so this is just a way for me to try to be a little bit frugal and a little bit creative and get a little bit nerdy and was able to do that. And I'm so excited. So hopefully this video helped you out and maybe you can try something similar. Let me know if you've tried something like this and have put something together where you can easily monitor your system remotely. Maybe there's another solution out there. I'd certainly love to know and I'm always constantly learning. So thanks for watching, subscribe, hit the bell, and check out the descriptions below. I'll have links to all of these products and services and, and all that kind of stuff for you to guys take a, a further uh, look at. So take care, we'll talk to you soon, bye.